Good morning, people. This is the Pokestars Summer Daily Challenge, episode number 19. And today it's time for some sit and go action again. So we have to play two sit and goes with a real money buying with at least six entrants, which we're going to do. And um, to make this a little bit more fun and to make this more interesting for you guys, I'm going to do a double or nothing challenge. I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow because it's going to be a heads up sit and go for tomorrow's challenge as well. So we're going to do double or nothing, which means that we're starting with a 150 Hyper Turbo sit and go, 6 max 1. If we manage to win or to at least make second place, uh, we're going to move up to the 350 one and so on and so forth. And if we drop back down and we have to play the second one, we're going to do the 150 again. We got we get to take another shot. If we manage to uh, to win or to play second, we're still going to double up. So this might become a series of sit and goes. I don't know yet, but let's hope for it. Should be fun anyways. So let's have a look. I'm going to play a Hyper Turbo 6 Max, a 150. Let me just check that I take. That's correct. I'm in it. Here we go. First one starting pretty soon. One more player to go. Come on. Here we go. So, our first sit and go of the day. And just for you guys, I'm going to switch the deck. Because we do that fairly often. New deck. New deck, new look. It's always good for some run good. Jack three off on the button. This is going to be a fold. And by the way, with those Hyper Turbo 6 Max shoving and calling ranges, I'm like that dog. That dog picture, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, first guy busted out already, that's nice. check if we can get the picture up. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's the one that I'm looking for. I'm not sure which one I like best. I don't know which which you guys like best, but there is this this one with a dog in the chemical lab, which is awesome. I'm just googling it. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Like the dog driving. <laughs> that's pretty cool too. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. <laughs> that's that's clearly one of the best of the better ones. That's the classic. The cat is also pretty sweet. <laughs> that's pretty nice as well. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of good stuff to find. All right, internet. Guy jams, guy calls. We're going to fold king, queen for sure. No way we're calling this. Now, this guy seems to be a little bit too ecstatic, but he gets there, so that's nice. He keeps busting people for us, which is good. I mean, we only have to play second to be able to move up to the 350s. Should be fun. All right, I guess he's going to shove again. Playing on his cell. <laughs> Maybe he gets the, the buttons wrong. When he plays on his cell, he's like, ah, uh, just, you know, put it all in. That's the easiest way. Uh, just check it down here. I mean, I could take a stab, I guess. Well, that's weird that this guy limps on the button. Well, maybe I'm just going to try and take a stab now. That nobody try to go for it. Why not? Nobody wants to pot. I'm going to take it. <laughs> just like that. I mean, I was playing. Everybody was playing the board pretty much. Yeah. So they told. They they probably told themselves. Well, this. This Flix guy he probably has a three. 
And I was very, I think I did a good job at selling I have a three. <laughs> King six, I think it's time for a little raise. We got some chips. By the way, um, on Sunday, we've got more home game action coming up. So make sure to join the home game club, the Grinding It Up home game club. 874748 is the ID, and the password is Fischigespieler. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to mess with this guy. I think he's a little bit too crazy, and he's probably just going to shove if I raise or if I do anything fancy. So I'll just stay put. And see if I hit some good flops. Well, it's certainly a decent flop to work with. I think I'm going to put out a bet if this guy checks. Yes, I'm certainly going to put out a bet here. Try to represent the 6 with a 60. Uh, this guy doesn't believe me. I'm not going to bluff him. I certainly won't bluff a guy who's willing to gamble and who has a lot of chips. So, he's going to give up right there. Jack 10, I think if those two guys fold, it's a shove. If this guy raises, it's a fold. Three, four is a fold always. I wouldn't even steal against this guy, I don't think. <laughs> Maybe he takes out one or both, which would be really sweet. Well, it's a good training for my 10 big blind game anyways, which really sucks, I gotta admit. Come on, man. Take him out. Do the job for us. People were asking me when will I be streaming again, by the way. So maybe I can talk a little bit about that. I am planning to stream again, maybe pretty soon for W Coop, because the W Coop is coming up, and I'm planning to play quite a bit. At least I'm going to play uh, some of the Six Max events, and like the Sunday Millions, and the Sunday Warm Ups. And, well, if I, if I manage to run deep, or if I manage to get some interesting runs, um, I'm certainly most definitely up for streaming and recording so that should be nice so yeah I'll, I'll keep you guys uh, informed about this uh, on Facebook Twitter so I mean if you're following me there anyways you'll know when I go online and you can also check out my web page grinding it up.com there's like this little live stream um, page landing page where I'm also I mean the stream will be on Twitch, but this will be on there as well. I think Queen 8 is a shove. And yeah, so I'll keep you guys informed. A6 is a shove if this guy folds, for sure. Uh, if he limps, I'm still gonna shove. I think he has limped quite a bit so far. And I'm not afraid of him limping any monsters there, I don't think. And I have an ace, an ace from space. A lot of construction noise and children are back in the in the kindergarten outside because the summer holidays are over. But it's a very, very nice late summer day. He's in the tank. And wow, he tries to ISO me. Good luck. We need an ace from space. There we go. That works. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Yep, so we're pretty safe from these two, and maybe we get it heads up against this guy, who clearly is a recreational player, judging by what he just did with the uh, Jack-8 suited. He was certainly feeling fancy about the diamonds. I think the diamonds are probably his favorite color. That's why I decided to bump it up a, a little bit. <laughs> and we got some, some railing action. <laughs> Maybe we can take this one down 
and then we'll move up to the 350s. <laughs> Uh, not sure about the Jack 7 off. If he shoves, I think I have to fold or call. I don't know. <laughs> you guys probably know better than I do. Uh, three dudes off suit. I think I'm not going to bother completing. I'm first. I'm in first position. Um, I think I could potentially shove. I'm going to raise, call a shove by this guy and probably not sure what I'm going to be doing. I mean, he had shown queen eight, uh, jack eight suited, but I think, I think this one I'm going to let go. These cards look really nice. They have this little spotlight at the top left. Oh, yeah, please take him out. That's nice. Well done, well done. He took him out for us, which is cool. <laughs> so we need this guy to leave, and then we're there. I'm not going to risk busting, so I have to fold the king seven, even though I would like to call. But I'd rather see this guy uh, bust. I mean, we could certainly just call and give another take another shot at I mean now we have to call of course um, but we get another shot at you know trying to take him out I mean he had jack eight, jack eight suited the last time he has queen 10 oh that's good he has queen 10 so ah oh, we would have made a straight damn well at least we're heads up so we'll be moving up to the 350s on the next round which is nice and maybe we can even uh, I think this guy, I don't know, I think I'm just shoving and just hoping for the best. He's still going to call with any two cards, I guess, but what else can I do? I can just hope. And, well, at least we got second, which means that for the next sit and go, we're going to be playing a 350 Hyper Turbo, 6 max 1. Yep. Oh, now I just registered for a uh, for a non-turbo one. <laughs> uh, for just a regular, ah, uh, that's that's gonna be a long one, anyways. Oh my God, what did I get myself into? What did I get myself into? Not completed the challenge yet. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna stick around quite a bit. Well, to make this, to bump this up a little bit, I think this is this is a little bit too slow. I'm still going to do a 350 Hyper Turbo 6 Max one. So easy to hit the wrong button. <laughs> what a fail on my part. But in the meantime, I'm just going to have this one run this a little bit smaller and then make the other one a little bit bigger. Ace 10 suited is going to be a 3 bet or a call. I think I'm going to 3 bet. And we're still waiting for one more guy in this one. And we're good to go. Whoops. Wow, must be nice to flop like that when we actually get into a 3-betting war with a light 3-bet. Put out a bet. Get check raise, which is nice. And yeah, certainly not going to fold, but just tank a bit and then not get it in, but yeah, get it in now with the nuts is good. <laughs> Took one out already first hand. Nice. Sweet gonna steal on the button on this one. Maybe we got another one of those guys that just love Jack 8 suited. He flats from the big blind. I think there won't be an ace or a queen very often in his range, so I'm just gonna be able to take it down. Oh, 
Pocket 7s, uh, I think it's fairly strong enough. Not sure though. I'm just gonna shove, I think. Maybe with 25 bigs it might be a little light, but... We gotta accumulate chips. Oh, we already busted one guy here, so... Maybe we'll even get to move up to uh, the $7 sit and goes. <laughs> Who knows? Already 15 minutes of video footage. I think this is going to be a long episode for sure. And I'm going to go get myself a glass of water. back and ready for action. Get three bed, pretty deep stacks. Okay, this is interesting. If this were a 200 NL game, I would probably not fold my pocket nines, but I'm Thinking about releasing them here. I think that was a good idea. Oh, yeah, I was just saying that nine, that nine would be sweet. <laughs> I mean, nine is good. He can have a nine. He can certainly have a nine when we boat up. That's fair enough. <laughs> oh. Seems like we are running really good this morning. Should play sit and goes in the morning more often, I guess. And just do the double or nothing trick to boost my bankroll. Oh, what ha Oh, yeah, this guy just got it in on the flip with the ace king against the queens, and this guy won. So, I mean, this, this could even go quicker than this one, but I doubt it. I mean, even if we get to the heads up, the blinds will be so low, that will be just, you know. I think I gotta fold this. There will be just too much room. So this will take a lot longer. Not gonna do anything fancy here. But I'm trying to steal here. I want them blinds. Queen Jack. Oh, why not? Just pot it. Just stay aggressive. We got a lot of room here. Room for maneuver. Aha! Uh -huh. What's going on here? Who told these 350 sit and go guys to min 4 bet? <laughs> I mean, Queen Jack is certainly close, but I think it's not good enough to call. That's quite tough. I mean, we've seen like raise 3 bet, cold 4 bet, get it in early stage at 10 20 with ace king against queens reminds me a little bit of like higher stakes cash games i'm going to raise this this limper guy i'm just going to play this like a cash game i guess it's too much fun not to and people limping is always good what's happening here this guy wins but he doesn't take out this guy i'm going to fold here Uh, five six. I think I can call. Flop a gutter. Seems to be good. I mean, I can certainly just check raise, making it two hundred. He makes it a hundred. I think I missed my my spot now, because if I put in two hundred and he puts in the rest, 
I think I'm just gonna fold with my gutter very close. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna fire away. And I'm going to shove here, I think, and I'm not sure if I should value bet here. Um, I think I can't really value bet. I'm not sure if I can get called by worse. I'm gonna bet 120 again. Maybe he calls with an eight. Who knows? And he does. He calls with an eight. I was saying like, I'm gonna bet small so that he calls with an eight, and then he calls with an eight. What am I? Am I like some sort of magician or what? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna defend this. And call with a pair. I have a pair. Pairs are hard to come by, so we're going to call. And not good on the turn, I guess. King Queen in the hyper terrible one. The guy shoves for I don't know what. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I seriously don't know. 500 for 674. I don't know. I don't know. He probably has some ace-x in pocket pair, and we're probably flipping a lot, but I'm just going to make a tight fold. Maybe my stack has... I, I'm not sure, but my stack has some, some good value here. Um, I think I'm going to fold this one, because these, these two are battling it out with a lot shallower stacks. So uh, I think the king-7... I'm just going to jam on the button. Put some pressure on these guys. <clears throat> and king four, I think. I'm not sure. I think I might just raise. No, raise fold is not. It's out of question. We're already at 40-80, so yeah, this is a shove, I guess. But I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I'm always going to be wrong when it comes down to shoving or calling ranges. But I mean, the suited king is certainly good to have since we have some equity against these types of hands. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Spiking always helps. But having like being suited certainly is an advantage and we're certainly going to shove this and this is a fold and we're ahead and we get there just need to dodge one more there we go and we're heads up this could get really interesting we're going to have this run and then just double or nothing on these so if we win this which is looking good right now we can just move up to the seven dollars and go that looks good I like that. Yep, works. <laughs> works for me. So up we move to the $7 sit and go. Just to make sure that I'm going to pick a hyper turbo one this time. Not again. Yeah, this is a hyper turbo. Just checking. Yeah, I got a hyper turbo. Double or nothing. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We already completed the daily challenge, by the way, which makes us eligible for the shootout. But this video continues, of course, as I promised. I'm going to continue until I bust on the double or nothing challenge. So I moved up to the $7 ones by doubling it up. Just going to pick it up here. Nobody wants it, so I'm just going to take it. And if he doesn't fold now, he's probably going to fold now. Fold! Damn. Yeah, I didn't expect him to fold an ace. <laughs> but I actually didn't expect him to have an ace in the first place. Because he didn't do anything on the flop. So, well played by him. Jack-10, get two calls. I think I'm just going to give up. Unless I pick up outs, which I do. 
So right now, I think I could get aggressive. I'm going to raise this. This guy probably isn't very strong, so we're just going to put him to the test. Let's put him to the test. We're representing, trying to represent a strong hand. That's quite a nice river, actually. I mean, he, well, it's not that good of a river, to be honest, <laughs> because he can have a backdoor flush. And he can have an ace, which he probably isn't folding. He bets on the turn, which means that he either has a draw or an ace. So I think I'm just going to check back. And given that he also tanks for a while, I think... Oh, damn, I could have made him fold an eight. That does make sense, too. But, well, anyways. I think that was just not a great river to bluff. And folding. Flop a pair of fives. Just going to bet this. Seven, eight suited. Pretty sweet hand. Would love to play it, but can't call an all in. Pocket eights. That's better. That's a lot better than seven, eight suited. I don't know what this guy has, but I'm just going to call once more for the small price that I'm getting. And yeah, let's just go with the pocket eights and hope for the best. Just gonna raise these two on the button. Decent flops both times. This guy donks. I have a gut shot. I'm going to. Uh, I could raise, but I'm just gonna decline. I don't know what he's donking with. He probably donks a jack or something like that. But I seriously don't know what that means. Hmm. Lines going up. Kings! Woo woo woo! Crazy daisy! Come on! Come on, shove! Double me up! Hmm, too bad. Well, we got one customer at least, which is good. And yeah, bet flop, get check raised, pretty sweet. Well, he certainly isn't folding, I don't think, so why waste any time? Just get it in. He's folding! Who told him to do that? Who tells people in a $7 6 max hyper turbo sit and go to fold? Not cool. Jack-7 suited. This is probably worth playing, but not against a shove. Nine seven suited. This is not going to be played. Yeah, so people at this one are a lot tougher to deal with. And the previous guys, for sure. <clears throat> Just gonna bet big. Bet, bet, bet. 
king queen i'm going to raise Uh, yeah, I'm going to call this. I think this is just way too small. Uh, and we double up here, which is nice. And so it actually turns out he knows grinding it up, which means that he could have been messing with us a little bit. Naughty boy. So you probably 4-bet bluffed us in that one spot where I had Queen Jack. And yeah, I'm going to put it in a big bed here. I think he can have like some two pairs, some Jack X. Yeah, he's going to have a 7 now. I think he can have 7-9, so I'm just going to call. But we're going to chop it up anyways. So Unfortunate. Yeah, let's just steal some blinds and put in a small bet. Doesn't look good for us. He calls. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to put in more money with my bluff. Um, well, I think shoving probably is best now. I'm going to give up here. Damn! <laughs> we lose against 6i. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, here we go. Ace queen, way too good, not to shove. Don't like to see that, but we could still be in good shape. He folds, we need a queen, a 10, a queen, a 10, a queen, a 10, no. King 10, he shoves. I think we can fold once more. Now we're down to five big blinds. This is a fold. You just need to get to second place. Yeah, just second place is enough to move up. Ah, what a flop. Oh, so he takes him out. We need to survive one more. One more. Oh, take him out. Take him out. Yes, yes. Come on. Let's do this. No, queen. Three, five, three. Yes. That works. Yes. <laughs> so, so, excellent. We can actually move up. Four, five, probably a fold. So we're going to see some $15 heads up hyper turbo sit and go action. I think we're going to call the king six suited here. Uh, raise this. Oh, damn. Well, anyways, we finished second, but we have to call this here. And we're going to play the 15 Hyper Turbo 1. Uh, I'm going to just shove here. I'm just fed up. <laughs> he calls with Ace Jack. Okay. Works. Um, Oh no, I just I just registered for another turbo. Oh man, I'm just so bad. I just screw up so badly. <laughs> Whoops. But this is fun. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I expected this to be a quick video, but now I'm sitting here double or nothing it up. And we already get up to the level where the supernovas are are sitting at. Well, maybe we win this one as well. Oh, you know what? You know what? Gonna fold this one. I'm going to register for another. Oh no, this is the full ring one.
I got some time left, yes. I just got to make sure that I don't extend this video because too long for for too long because I got a coaching session coming up pretty soon in 40 minutes. But I guess we'll be finished by then. I hope we're going to be finished by then. Well, at least this is a turbo. All right. Gonna bet, bet, bet here. This is a turbo knockout. We're gonna check here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's probably just trying to suck us in. <laughs> Four hundred. I'm not sure if we can fold, but it looks like he has king 10 or an ace. So I'm just going to make a ridiculous fold here for a $100 chip bet, because he bets into the two of us. We're using the pocket eights. Uh, let's make this one bigger, because this is getting more interesting now. <clears throat> I'm just going to check it down. And win. Yeah, I'm just going to continue this video until we finish this sit and go. And I think about folding this. Jack three is a fold. Queen Jack is probably gonna get played. Yeah, we're just gonna pot it here. There's no limping on the button. Sir, limping on the button. Oh, already one guy taken out, which is nice. Gonna raise the Queen Nine. Ace King. How much are we gonna win here? We need to make second place. Well certainly betting the slot. And raising ace eight. Raising Jack nine. Six. I think this is a fold. Oh, the supernova guy already left us. No more supernovas except for me. And call the 910. Sweet flop, sweet turn. Must be nice to run like that. And probably just raising pretty big. Yeah, I think I'm going to raise big. Let's raise big and let's bet this turn. Get it in against aces. Hold. Yay. We got it. Now we're in the chip lead. And uh, yeah, we're just see betting here. I think he's going to fold a fair bit. And now we're just going to put in another bet, I think. Yeah. Because we pick up some draws. Whoops. It's going to say you too. Uh, well, folding. So we're heads up. I'm really, I'm really doing well in this sit and go thing. 
I don't know what's happening. I think I'm just I'm just running good probably. <laughs> That's good training for the W Coop though, even though it's just sit and go play, but I guess it's still fine to just have some different stack size training like this. Fold the river. Certainly not folding with two overs and the backdoor flush draw. Get there on the turn. And then see what he does on the river. Probably has like... So he bets fairly big. I'm not sure if he can call with worse. He might also have a better hand. So I'm going to save. Yeah, I save a fair bit if he has a straight or like two pairs set or something like that. So I guess... <clears throat> well, he flopped it. So <laughs> nice answer. Uh, five three off. It's gonna go for smallish bets on a flop and turn, and maybe on the river. Get a call here. This river, I'm gonna check back. Yeah, I'm certainly gonna check back this river. I think I'm gonna go for a half pot now. And just hope that he looks me up with some pocket sevens or some ace high, maybe. Who knows? He goes into the tank. I think I'm gonna bet this river. Then he check raises. Looks like he's. Well, he probably has a 4 or a 10. He's at least representing a 4 or a 10. Question is, am I believing that he has a 4 or a 10? I think it's pretty likely, given that he overcalled in the big blind. Yeah, I think I'm going to believe it. I'm going to be the believer in this case. And just fold it. Pretty deep for a heads up. Jack nine, I'm going to call. And I'm going to call here. And I'm going to check the river and probably call. Whoops. Yep. And paying off a king is tough, but I gotta do it. There's no way around it. He could use this as a cheap opportunity to bluff. I'm just gonna fire through here with my gut shot. And I think he's going to fold this river for sure. Yeah, I think it's just like, he usually will have a four. I think he can't really, unless he has an ace, <laughs> which <laughs> is not to be expected. Well, actually, it, it does make sense. He had a gut shot, so why not? Okay. Um, this one, I'm just checking back. And folding river. I guess I'll get this heads up in time until my coaching lesson, so. Uh, I think I'm going to not bet this board this time. I'll just check down my pair of fives now. Maybe I can get like a call from King Eye, I don't know. He was tanking a bit. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Hundred maybe he calls. Who knows?
Well, yeah, that certainly could be thin. Too thin. I don't think I can get called by Worf, so I'm just going to check call. And I'm going to maybe check raise this turn. I think I will. It looks like the type who's not folding much, but anyways, I'm just going to take my chances because I'm not sure if I can get um, a lot more action if I don't hit. And I don't think he's folding now. He didn't fold the ace on two streets, so we're just going to check. And he's certainly not folding kings. <laughs> That's for sure. I think four deuce. Whoops. I don't want to show. <laughs> Gonna try and take this one down. Maybe it works. Just half ten high. Not gonna do anything fancy now. Well, he's certainly not gonna fold um, a spade. Uh, I'm going to three bet this. Pocket sevens. I'm going to 3-bet my pocket 5s. And fold the river here. And probably call the 5s. Um, not sure about this one. I think I have to fold. Not against none of the gun race, I don't think. That was a pretty big three bet. It's gonna bet hundred. Hundred dollars. And bet another hundred. And probably bet two hundred on the river. Okay, let's make it three hundred. Three hundred. Too much. Damn. That was too much. King high, I'm going to defend. Queen nine is raised. And this is definitely worth C betting, I think. Four five, I'm going to probably fold. <laughs> Not sure about the six three. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna raise it. It's very loose, but I think I can take down quite a number of pots against him. And this is one of them. I think this is just a very good spot to just bet and try and take it down. A pair of sixes might be good, so I'm checking it back. Don't expect to be good, though he could have a 7 now. So I guess he has a 7 fairly often. For one blind, I'm going to call this. And I'm certainly going to call. Could turn a gutter. Could turn my gutter or could make two pair. And now I think I'm going to call once more. And this one I'm going to check back. And here I'm just going to call every street and call the river and pick up a bluff that's nice I like it I like it I like it I'm going to 3-bet this guy I don't know this hand is too good not to 3-bet this flop is not great but I'm still going to C-bet no other way to take it down if he doesn't have anything saving some chips if he does have something because he doesn't like to fold so this just saves me the effort I need to fold this now well now he gets fed up with us 
he starts shoving. Just bet, even with our position. Wow, this is close to an hour long footage. I, I would have never expected this when I started this challenge. <laughs> would take me so long. This is going quite fast actually. Maybe we could even get to move up to... I mean I got another 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes. I do need some preparation time for the lesson. I'm going to bet 100 here on the river. I don't know. I mean, I could get caught by 7, 8. So I think it's not all that bad. Now that's just plain nutted raise, I think. <laughs> Queen 10. Good hand. Bet my gut shot. Two overs. Bet the turn. I think this is a decent turn to bet even though he will call quite often. We flop a pair, a pair is a pair. We're just gonna bet 100. Now we turn a flush draw, that's sweet. Bet 200. No action. Tough opponent. We already have six bucks in the hole. He tanks. If he tanks, I think he has something. But I still got to bet I got 10 high. So let's just bet and hope. Looks like he has something. And since he doesn't like to release, I'm just going to check and hope to spike my gut shot, which I don't. And 6-4, I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to fold. Oh, he did have the better hand with 10 high. <laughs> 10 high. I'm going to 3-bet. Same spot. And do the same thing even though I still think he's gonna fold a lot I don't know what else to do that's not a great card so he calls us with probably a, an ace anyways but I'm gonna make another $400 bet now uh, and I'm planning to fold against the raise I think that's a decent line to take here blinds are going up so now we actually get into the the danger zone, the shove or fold danger zone. One hour long episode, guys. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. We're going to let him bet. And he bets again. And we're going to let him. And Last time he donked a straight. I think he's going to be very strong, but I can't fold an ace. <laughs> and he is very strong, so good for him, but not possible to fold there. Just going to shove now. I'm getting fed up now. <laughs> Sweet flop. I like it. Just gonna say, if he donks, I think I'm going to just shove because he's always strong, or he has been very strong so far. And we're gonna bet 600. I think he's still gonna call. That's like one of the worst rivers in the world, I'd say. He can make some worse two pair, like eight nine or seven nine. <laughs> uh, I have to call because he can have like eight nine or seven nine, but I don't expect to win. 
but still it's okay we're 450 I don't want to be making hero folds too much and yeah he bots it so I'm probably done now shove and pray he grinded me down already well done aces they won't save me not anymore he folds for 600 more <laughs> good play by him gotta give it to him good play I think I should have shoved this. I'm calling. I'm not folding. Jack seven. No, we don't get there. Oh well. Anyways, we play second, and um, I'll tell you how. Well, okay. Well, I can't do that. Let's let's finish this one. Uh, I should have shoved here actually. Let's finish this one too. And I think I'm just going to go with it. He's going to shove worse, for sure. Less than 10 big blinds deep. He's a little bit better. And he makes the nuts. Good for him. Bad for us. Queen 9. I'm going to shove this. being as short as I am. I'm going to fold this one. <clears throat> so these two guys could potentially bust before me. Ace Jack is certainly going to get played. Against any raise, except for like raise or re raise, like this guy raises, this guy re raises, or whatever, but this is just uh, a call for sure. So we're happy to see that. He gets a flush draw. And he gets there, unfortunately. Well, too bad. Uh, so our little series, your little run just ended here. But anyways, we completed the challenge, which is nice. We got the ticket. We won some money. I think we won like, uh, I don't know, seven bucks or something even. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for maybe a little bit of a shorter episode. But we're going to do the double or nothing format again tomorrow. It's It's been fun. And let's see how far we can get with the heads up sit and goes tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.